this is Mr. Alberona here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Shota Aizawa, a raise ahead. A raise ahead, I would definitely say, is a, a rush down brawler character. He doesn't do too great from long range, he doesn't have many any projectiles or anything that reach very far, but he's an amazing combo character, I tell you. I remember when I said I thought Mr. Compress has the best meterless damage? Well, no, I take it back. It's definitely Aizawa. Now, getting into his buttons, his attack string, his four hitting attack string that can be dash cancelled afterwards, it can be dash cancelled after any point, does decent damage, and as you can see, his air attack string is a three hitting attack string that can be cancelled into any of his quirk buttons, like his quirk steal. His red attack is uh, pretty good, it's pretty good. It's not the fastest, but it has decent range, and it can go into his combos, which is what you always want to be doing with Aizawa, because that's what he loves doing most. He loves doing amazing combos and stealing your quirk. So this red move is good for that, if they're trying to block or are scared of all your other buttons. His armor attack is pretty decent. You use it for combos in certain situations where your regular combo would uh, drop in some way, which I'll explain later. It does 3 hits, decent damage, and can be uh, cancelled, as you can see here. You can cancel into any of his quirk buttons. His air armor attack is great in so many ways. It's not the fastest, but it is decently fast. But what makes it great is it's a great combo ender, but also a great combo starter. If I do it here, you can see I can go into my regular attack string from it. And what you'll see later in the video is once I've done cool combos, unlike this one, just that. But I'm just trying to get into the air. Hello? <laughs> It's a really damaging combo ender that you'll always want to be using. Okay, now for his quirk one. It's this just... It's just a flip kick. It does a lot of damage, and it can be cancelled. The most important thing is that it can be cancelled into his... This. What's that called? His, his scarf... thing. <laughs> So, and it can also be cancelled from his regular attack string, so you can do 1, 2, 3, 4 into this kick, and that on its own has a lot of damage, but it can also be cancelled into his scarf attack. And that's just the beginning of his crazy combos. So essentially this is just used for combo extending and does a lot of damage. It's also very good using that after his regular string on an opponent that's blocking, and they've blocked your whole string. Um, because um, they think you're just going to end there, and then you cancel it into this, and then you hit them with that, and you go into your full combo. It's pretty useful. And, well, it's very useful. It does a lot of damage. This Tilt Quirk 2 is this parry. Um, it's a bit better than some parries in the game, in that it has very fast startup compared to others, where they have to be like, to their animation into it, Aizawa basically just like teleports into his <laughs> animation of the parry. So you can do it in any gaps of combos, so you see if I put Bakugo into doing his attack screen. I can, cancel, I can do my parry in the middle, and even with things that are like less of a gap, like after the third hit of um, Inasa's string, or a lot of things where you know there's a gap that you could sidestep, with the, uh, Aizawa you can just do a... You can just do a parry instead, and then go into some of his cool combos from that. It's very good, and it's armor move, so if they think that they can armor through it or counter your counter, well, they're going to feel your, your... And it can be comboed into his quirks, so it's very good. It's very fast, but as you saw, it has pretty bad um, recovery, so if they know that you've done it and then they see that... It has a lot of uh, frames before you can block. It's very unsafe. Okay, for his Quirk 2. His Quirk 2 buttons are definitely his combo extension moves. So if you just tap it, he grabs you with a scarf, and you can have two things. You can either tilt Quirk 2 to pull him into you, and you can do things after it, and it can combo things. So see if I do two hits into this, pull him in, two hits into it again. Well, that was the other one. So essentially, you just tap Quirk 2 the first time, and then you tilt Quirk 2 to pull it in. 
um, if you tap Quirk 2 and then tap it again, he will throw your opponent viciously and it will wall splat almost every time. And then you can get a wall splat combo if you... So if you grab them and you realize that you're facing a wall, just throw them and see if you can... <laughs> if he'll be able to throw them into the wall. Usually he will be. If you're facing a wall, it's... Basically, oh, I can get a wall splat. Bro. And do something more optimal than that. Um, it can also be used in the air and after his uh, Quirk 1, which is definitely what you're going to use to be extending combos. You do Quirk 1 into this, and two hits into this, and then. Here, let me show you. This is basically going to be his bread and butter that you're going to do all the time. Pull in, two hits into it again. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> into his armor move. And that does 10,892 damage. That was no dash cancels, by the way. And Baku goes on recovery, so there was no way he can get out of there except for using his supports. Almost 11,000 damage for no meter. That that's amazing. It's uh, um you can vary his combos to use his tilt quirk too, which is his quirk stealing move. So you want to be using that a lot because it it can really annoy your opponent. Um I'll quickly explain what it does. So see when Bakugo has those effects on, essentially he's just not going to be able to press Y or B or triangle or circle if you're on PlayStation, he's not going to be able to use either his quirk buttons. So other than he, the only things they can use are their regular attacks, the red attacks and the yellow attacks. They're not going to be able to do any of their quirk things, qu tilt quirks, any, any kind of quirk, while the debuff is active. You can't, um, you can't actually get anything off of it without dash cancelling. If the opponent is going crazy on the recovery button, uh, like my Bakugo is here, so if I'm doing two hits, I usually can't get anything off of it because they can recover. But if your enemy isn't viciously mashing on the recovery button, usually you can actually get an extended combo after it. But it can be a bit difficult. Yeah. Uh, you usually just want to use it at the end of combos or for a reset or something and to remove that quirk. So you can change up your combos to do more damage if you want to do um if you want to end with the quirk steal. So usually I like to do one, two, three into the grab, into one, two, three, this. Oops, that was wrong. So one, two, three, into grab. One, two, three, four, into that, into grab, into one, two, into the quirk grab. Now they don't have that quirk, and you've done 8,000 damage. I think you can actually extend it a bit more by going, if I went... Yeah, but if they didn't bounce there... There we go. You can do a bit more damage, or if you did the other thing, you can do a bit more damage by doing the full string in the air. Um, and as you saw before, I messed up the combos because of the wall. For Aizawa, wall is the absolute enemy. So if I stop uh, Bakugo returning to the center and I get a bit closer to the wall, you'll see if I try to do this. Oh, and it doesn't wall splash. <laughs> So let me get a bit closer to the wall, say we're over here, and I try to do one of my combos, you know, with Quirk 1. Quirk 1, like, it will, you won't be able to cancel it into the, um, if you're near a wall, usually. Yeah, well, it's working very well suddenly now that I'm recording. Usually when you're online and stuff, and if you're near a wall, <laughs> You don't end up getting the combo if you do your quirk one. But suddenly it's working. But essentially what usually happens 
is that he just bounces off of the wall and like lands to the ground instantly. Or something like that. And because they're near the wall, they don't fly the same amount of distance. Or like with here, sometimes like that, they just bounce off of the wall. But it happens with the quirk one like a lot. Yeah, like there. That's what. <laughs> that's what happens so often. Yeah. See, like that. Now, see that. That's what I'm talking about. They bounce off the wall, and often you can't get your combo, and then you end up just getting 6,600 damage. What you usually do to avoid that is I do three hits into his armor move, and basically just replace that with what you would have been doing anyway. And you get a bit less damage, but it's basically effectively the same. It's just a little bit less, but it's worth it if you're actually getting the full combo. Yeah, so it's less damage, but if you're gonna get, it's better than getting the 6,000 or whatever if you mess it up by doing the first one. But definitely if you can, go for this combo because it does a lot of damage. Oh my god, 11,000! It's even more than it did before, it just depends on how many of the armor hits attack. 11,000 damage, no meter, that is crazy, 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 crazy stuff. So yeah, that's basically Aizawa's moves in a nutshell. Um, also with his um, quirk steel move, if you can do it from the air, but if you hold it, it becomes a red attack, so it becomes an unblockable. So this is good if you know, you're know you jumping around and your opponent thinks you're going to come in. You're in the air, so they think you're going to go in for a attack or something, or into this, because I end up using that a lot online, because it makes your combos do even more damage, and it gets you a hit confirmed from the air. <laughs> and you can get your awesome damage just for landing this arm move from the air. So if you jump into the air and then do this red attack, a lot of the time they're not ready for that. And then you can go into some full combo shenanigans from there. And obviously your, your combo scales a lot after doing the quirk steel move, but you know, it's pretty good for confusing your opponent if they want to use something and then end up not being able to get it out. And yeah, it's very good. You want to make sure you feel that quirk whenever you can. And obviously, it's just a good unblockable if you hold it down. Um. Okay, other than his plus ultra attacks, that's basically it. Do the arm move into his combos and get his awesome damage because in Steel Lake work. That's basically what Aizawa does. For his plus ultra combos, you know, there's not anything that crazy. Just do some like 1, 2, 3 into this, do 1, 2 into this, into 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you can get 15,000. Okay, that's actually more than I thought it would be. That's pretty good damage. 15 basic, uh, 15 and a half thousand for one plus ultra attack is pretty good. And if you've noticed, his plus ultra one uh, erases their quirk after it hits. You can see there's the effect on them, so they're not going to be able to press any of their quirk buttons, so that's pretty great. So yeah, make sure you do three into the grab, into two into the grab, into the all four in the last one in order to consistently get the puzzle draw one. And then you'll get a lot of damage and a quirk erasure. Yeah, more than half of their health and they don't have their quirk, you're in a pretty good position there and you've only used a plus ultra one. With that said, I don't think I was going to show it, but there's almost no point in you ever using his plus ultra duo. I'll show it anyways, so you basically can do the same thing. Yeah, see, so if you want a bit more damage and you want to end up again, you can use this. There we go, 18,000 damage. It's pretty good if you want to end out the game. But wow, with this, with that plus ultra one thing, you can see why he doesn't need to use any, or why you wouldn't want to use any dash cancel meter in your combos. Because if you're doing all these like amazing damage, just free and meter list. <laughs> like 11,000 basically every time, then for once you've been saving up and you haven't used any dash cancels to use your plus ultra meter, then you can 
uh, more often, do these amazing ones. Into this, and that's what you want to be saving all your meter for. You're doing his plus ultra one combo. It, that, oh my god, I didn't even realize that. That is a ton of damage and quirk arrays. That is amazing. I can see Aizawa's game plan crystal clear now. He's an absolute brawler character. You know, he wants to be around mid range. He's good at the footsies by using these attacks. Um. Yeah, okay, so in conclusion, Aizawa, his great combos, his bread and butter, is using this, into this, into this, and ending with the armor move. And you can end with his quirk erasure move sometimes if you want, if you want to make sure they don't have their quirks. Maybe if, you, maybe if you're fighting a Zona, you want to make sure they can't throw their projectiles or something. Make sure you erase their quirk. Basically, Aizawa does a lot of damage, you can get combo conversions off of his arm move in the air, which is something you want to use to confuse your opponent. Maybe if they throw a projectile, you do that, you go through the projectile, and then you've gotten a full combo into Aizawa craziness. Um, he's got a good red attack if they're getting a bit patient against you doing your air attacks. If you hold his quirk steel move, it becomes a red attack as well. So you can go... And steal their quirk with a red attack. If they're trying to get too patient while you're in the air, they think you're going to do the armor attack. Basically, you just want to be in close, don't spend any meter, and save it for when you can do his plus ultra combo, which <laughs> we've found out is pretty amazing. And that's basically Aizawa in a nutshell. Do tons of damage, steal their quirk, annoy them, and man, do them flashy combos, meterless. That's amazing. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.